Now, I want to answer your second question here, right? You asked me, Tommy, I want to get into investing. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's the best investment option for me. Now, I don't recommend you start investing until you have, for example, an emergency account at least with $1,000 inside of it. And then start putting in extra money, extra money until you get, for example, at least like three to six months or so on. But as far as investing, you got to make a choice, right? You're either going to be an active investor picking stocks or, for example, a passive investor. Sometimes you can do both, but usually a real active investor won't have the need to actually invest passively because they know what they're doing. But what I do is passive investments. Meaning, for example, I put my money into index funds and also ETFs. That way I'm more diversified and I don't carry that much risk. Basically, buying a piece of the whole market or a sector that I'm actually interested in. But when you pick a stock though, you say picking a business, right? So you gotta understand the business as a whole, all of its numbers, for example, the balance sheets, the cash flow statements, the income statements, the 10K form, the 10Q forms. And that takes a lot of work, a lot of time. And the big thing about dividend stock is that basically people think that, hey, I buy this company, it's going to be here forever. But that's not always the case, right? Because remember, for example, 10 years ago, GameStop was like awesome, right? 50 yeah. years ago, Apple wasn't all that at all. Like right? Microsoft was actually beating it. 20 years ago, Netflix was like non-existent, right? So you never know when a company is going to come by and when competition is going to eradicate it. So if you want to be an active investor, you got to learn about investing. And for that, I recommend two books. Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham and also Security and Analysis by Benjamin Graham. But if all you want to do is just invest your money, grow it over time, get the average return like I do, the answer is you want to read a book called The Little Book About Common Sense Investing or, for example, watch my video on it, How I Invest $1,000. And there's a link down below in all my videos on basically M1 Finance and shows you exactly what I invest into. You can copy that over if you want to. But it's basically an ETF portfolio that's very well diversified and it's for the long, 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 long term.